What is up everybody? My name is Tanya and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Be a part of my YouTube channel, I guess. Um, something over there is bugging me so I gotta fix it. I'll be right back. Alright. Um, I'm sitting on two pillows. I don't know if this is bright enough or not. Let me turn up the brightness. All right, I have a window open here behind me for the backlight, I guess. This is my background, and I love it. It might move sometimes. I got me a stand. I guess I'll do a video on everything that I got for my setups and stuff, because everything I got is really affordable, because I was broke when I first started YouTube, and then I got, I work part-time, so I just don't have tons of money. Um, as you can see, let's get to the video, I guess. Fix my I, excuse me. I am gonna put on my ears because I am doing the no mirror makeup challenge and I could see myself in the viewfinder and it's gonna kill me to change that. Crap. Ugh. I guess I will change that until the challenge is over. Okay, I cannot see myself at all. And it bothers me to make a movie, a movie, a video without seeing myself. But I guess I'll get started. I don't know if you can see this, but I have no mirror in front of me. I just have my makeup stuff, and it feels weird. The first thing I'm going to put on is the Mentha Shimmer Tint and Bare Mint. Oh, before I get started, I want to say that the only video that I really watched that did this, and I know other people did it too, was one of my favorite YouTubers, um, James Charles. I will put him in the description down below. He's awesome. He's hilarious. He's fun. Like, literally one of my favorite youtubers I forgot to wet my beauty blender it's a little damp I don't know why but I'm just gonna use it anyways and this wonderfully expensive well this one isn't expensive but if I would have actually bought the full product um, I got this in a was it an ipsy ipsy bag ultra HD by Makeup Forever Foundation, and I'm going to put it on here. Grace, 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 what's that? Oh gosh. I don't know if it's covering, but I'm just going to feel for it, I guess. And I challenge anybody that does makeup and has a YouTube channel to do this challenge. I'm going to play, I really want to look in the mirror. My mirror's right there, but I can't see myself. I can only see my makeup, so i got to sit up. Do it. I have my hair crimped again today. Let me know if you crimp your hair. If you have really thin hair, then um, it's really perfect to get a crimper because it makes it look thicker, even though it kind of looks frizzy. But... Oh gosh, I don't feel like I have enough on my face. It's driving me insane. Next, I'm going to use my um, concealer from Maybelline. It's the Age Rewind. And I'm going to put that uh -oh, right there. I feel like I got a little much, but I'm going to use the same beauty blender. My hands are really dark from tanning, and I'm not wearing my ring. I'm not used to wearing jewelry, so I think any ring I wouldn't be wearing at night. How am I going to do my eyeliner? I'm really nervous. Or my eyebrows. Gosh, okay. Um, Maybelline Brow Define Full Duo, and it's in deep brown, and it's for eyebrows. What the heck? Oh, that's the end. Wrong side. All right. I have to do my brows like oh my gosh I don't know I already know I messed up dude this sucks I don't know 
if I did anything and I didn't want to, I don't want to make it any worse than it already is. That's what it looks like so far. Um, I'm going to put highlight on today and I'm going to use my Tarte Tartiest Pro Glow Liquid Highlights. And the color is exposed and it's liquid. I don't know why I'm deciding to put it on today. I'm going to, before I set them under my eyes and my entire face really, I'm going to put this on and then on the tip of my nose and down the bridge of my nose. My Cupid's bow, not bone, because I used to say bone. I'm going to set my face with the Pretty Blogger, and I'm going to take a brush and dip it in just to set under my eyes. This is my, I think I'm getting a little bit weirded out by this challenge, because I already know I messed up my eyebrows, but it's all right, because I know I didn't even fill them in. I don't know. Who knows? You all see it. I don't know if this brightens up your under eyes, but I'm setting them with it. And then my favorite all over is in 555 CoverGirl Clean pressed powder. And I just put it all over. I'm going to do bronzer and I'm going to use my L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Bronze It. Bronze It, yeah. Sunkiss bronze. Swirl around. First, I'm going to do under my nose. And crappy ish there. Do under my chin. On my cheeks. Then go up. A little on my nose. Chin down here. Oh gosh. Eyeshadow is next. And I do got my Laura Lee. Crap, I don't know if I should do this because I want to use my new Steve Laurent. My sister-in-law suggested this video and she's in a video I will put below, down below. I made her into a unicorn or on thing, or Halloween. So she's in one of those videos, but she gave me the Unique Olive Loose Powder by Steve Laurent and it's super cute and I think it's hard plastic, but... I'm going to use my bronzer and an eyeshadow brush to, ooh, that's too small, I'm, not, I'm scared, to kind of do the crease of my eyes. Well, you know what? There's a little trick I've learned. I'm going to go in, what did I use with this brush? I forget, but I'm going to pat this on my eyelids and then it's kind of going to get my crease. And then I'm just gonna forget about it and put on with my finger the Steve Laurent. I've never, I haven't gotten into this yet. So I hope I put it on my eyes. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. Did I even get it on my eyes? I guess. Help. This is so cool. There's a lot of product in this tiny little thing here. Okay, I need to quit freaking out because I'm making it not fun for myself. It's only because I'm going somewhere after I leave here and I want to make sure it looks okay. I'm going to go back in with the eyeshadow brush and feel around on my creases of my eye. This is what it looks so far. Looks like so far. And I'm not going to do anything under my eyes other than now I'm going to do my eyeliner. And I have my NARS eyeliner. And, oh my gosh. Am I getting it? Yes, I got it.
<sighs> All right, let's see. I'm going to clean up under my eyes just in case because I touched my under my eyes with my fingers and I have glitter all over. So just in case, I'm going to do that. Use my blush brush, clean up more. Now it's for my mascara. Let's see. I'm going to do the bottom eyelashes and then the top. Excuse me, sorry. I feel my hair in the way. What the heck? And I also feel like I'm holding my breath. Don't do that. I don't know. Did I do it? I think that's all. Now I'm going to look at myself in the mirror. Wow. Well, I didn't put as much eyeliner as I wanted on, but... I do like it. I do like it. This is the look, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If anybody has any more challenges, makeup challenges, or any kind of challenges, please let me know down below. Leave me a comment. Um, subscribe to my video, and hit the like button. Yeah. All right, my camera died, and I got to do something with this mop of hair. I really like it. Let me know what you think down below, or let me know if you've ever crimped your hair before. And if you have thin hair, I suggest you try it because even though you think, oh, it's crimpy or I think it's back in, even if it's not, I love it. It makes my hair way thicker than it is. It just looks thicker and kind of cool. I did open my viewfinder, actually. I opened it and I probably showed it. I don't know if I'm going to edit that out or not because usually whenever I stand up, I don't know, I edit that out. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I think I'm going to just put a little bit more eyeliner on and fix my eyebrows and keep this because I think that it looks okay. Ow. Oh, ho, ho. I think the next video that I'm going to make is going to be a no makeup makeup look because I don't usually do that. So it's going to be like a challenge. Damn it. Sorry. And it's going to be like a challenge for me because I usually wear, if I put makeup on, I usually wear quite a bit of makeup. And I don't always wear makeup. I think my 2019 goal is to wear less makeup, even on camera. Like even right now, this looks really good. The eyeshadow, if I had used more of a like non-sparkly eyeshadow and less blush, it would probably been okay as a no makeup makeup look. But that is going to be a practice of mine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. My ears are really white compared to my face. But, but overall, I think it looks okay. Let me know what you think down below. And yeah, leave me a comment, subscribe. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I appreciate every single one of you that watch my videos so much. You have no idea. Because I really love making videos, setting up for videos, planning videos, like I said before in a different video, and editing videos. Thank you again. Bye. Mwah.